Hello everyone. Welcome you all to this eighth video of the series of video that I am creating to support your German driving license class B theory exam. This is lesson three where I would cover another important topic which is stopping distance, reaction distance and braking distance. If you have not watched lesson one where I have covered traffic signs and devices and lesson two where I have covered right of way, I also suggest you watch them. I shall create a playlist for your easy reference. My name is Ranjit and welcome you all to this video from Life is Beautiful. Okay, with lesson 3, let's understand what is stopping distance, braking distance and reaction distance. Let's take an example. You are on a road and at a distance, you spot an animal or any other hazard for that matter. How would your car react? Let's see. Your car is coming on the road. It detected a hazard. It started applying brake. And then... At a point, it comes to a complete halt. Okay. The hazard was detected here. The braking happens from here. And the vehicle stops here. Okay. If you notice, the hazard was detected here, whereas the braking begins from here. Why? Because human brain needs some time to decide on the course of action. In this case, the course of action was braking. So this time is known as thinking time. And for normal human brain, this is one second. Okay. And the distance your car. So in this one second, your car has already moved a distance forward and this distance is known as the reaction distance okay so your brain need at least one second to decide that yes i need to brake but your car is already moving and has moved for moved forward some distance or covered some distance and this distance is known as reaction distance so at this point now you decided to apply brake Okay, and I'm talking about a normal braking scenario where you have spotted the animal, you know, at a comfortable distance or, you know, you have you have uh, uh, you have spotted a traffic light turning red, for example, you know, at a comfortable distance. So we are talking about a normal braking scenario and not emergency braking scenario. Okay, we will talk about emergency braking uh, scenario later uh, in this video okay so this distance you know from the braking from where the braking begins to the point where the vehicle stops this is known as the braking distance okay then what is stopping distance stopping distance is of course the total the reaction distance plus braking distance is stopping distance or the time or the distance that your vehicle covers from the time the hazard was detected from the point where the hazard was detected to the point where the vehicle come to a complete stop this is known as stopping distance okay you will get questions in your exam to calculate reaction distance to calculate braking distance or stopping distance these are supported by mathematical formulas so let's look at it so how to calculate reaction distance if you are given with the speed of a car one tenth of the speed times three gives you the reaction distance okay and one tenth of the speed times one tenth of the speed gives you braking distance and of course stopping distance is nothing but reaction distance plus braking distance okay i hope it was clear let's take an example this is a very typical exam question okay you are traveling at 100 km per hour and have a reaction time of one second that means you have a normal reaction time what is the reaction distance according to the rule of thumb okay so the question is the reaction distance okay how much would your car cover in terms of reaction distance if your car is traveling at 100 km per hour 
very simple just apply the formula for reaction distance okay but conceptually understand this image so please take a screenshot of this image you know and and remember this concept very well so let's apply the formula reaction distance is p divided by 10 times 3 okay let's apply the numbers it's 100 divided by 10 times 3 which is 10 times 3 which is 30 meter let's give our answer and 30 meter is the right answer let's look at the next example you're traveling again at 100 km per hour and brake normally okay so we are not talking about emergency braking that's why they are saying you're braking normally what is the braking distance according to the rule of thumb you know again go back refer to that image to conceptually understand what is braking distance okay let's put the formula here for reference braking distance is 1 by 10th of the speed times 1 by 10th of the speed in this case it's 100 divided by 10 times 100 divided by 10 sorry that's a typo this is 10 so it's 10 times 10 and this is 100 meter and that should be the answer okay please correct this typo this is 100 divided by 10 not 19 so the answer is 100 meter okay go back refer to that image and just understand what you just saw your car was traveling at 100 km per hour it covered 30 meter okay it covered 30 meter and it started applying the brake and before it could stop it traveled 100 meter more so from this point to this point it is 30 meter and 100 meter so it's total of 130 meter okay now let's look at this example you're traveling at 100 km per hour again have a reaction time of one second and break normally so everything is normal what is the stopping distance according to the rule of thumb i think now it's quite straightforward stopping distance is your reaction distance plus breaking distance in the previous example we have looked at reaction distance and breaking distance it's just for you to add them together so it's 30 meter is the reaction distance and 100 meter was the braking distance so your stopping distance is 30 plus 100 which is 130 meter that should be our answer yeah okay so let me cover one more concept here you know we have covered stopping distance we have covered a normal braking scenario we have covered a scenario of one second thinking time but what if we are talking about what if we are talking about an evasive braking or emergency braking okay you know suddenly uh, a cyclist come onto the road or or probably in this this animal is you know jumping onto the road and now this time you will have to apply emergency braking you know there is a slight change in the formula you know everything else same reaction distance is the same for the braking distance there is you know just consider it is braking distance divided by two okay it's half the braking distance uh, as we saw for the normal braking okay hope that is clear but let's make it even clear with an example okay you are traveling at 40 km per hour the braking distance for evasive braking is approximately 8 meters how long is the braking distance at 50 km given otherwise the same conditions okay now let's bring the formulas okay braking distance we know this braking distance so let's take the first part you're traveling at 40 km per hour so for that the braking distance for normal braking just apply the formula you see it's 16 meter and for emergency braking or evasive braking it is bd by 2 braking distance divided by 2 8 meter that's all given in the question right you're traveling at 40 km and the braking distance for evasive braking is 8 we just put that in the formula and calculated it ourselves and then the question is how long is the braking distance at 50 km given otherwise the same conditions so the same condition means evasive braking so let's apply the formula 
it is 50 times 5 times 5 25 meter for a normal braking and hence for evasive braking it is going to be 12.5 so that's our answer yeah i hope that was clear let's look at one more example so that the concept is clear for you okay this is the question for you you're driving on a narrow road about 20 meter ahead of you you a child suddenly runs onto the roadway when is a collision unavoidable despite of emergency braking okay let's solve this together okay um, let me take a pointer okay so here the child is at 20 meter okay let's see let's for each of these cases let's look at the reaction distance and also the braking distance but in this case braking distance divided by 2 because we are talking about emergency braking okay so the reaction distance for the first example for the first case it is 5 times 3 it's 15 meter okay let's apply these formulas it's 3 times 3 9 meter it's 2 times 3 which is 6 meter okay so just by reaction distance you see that a collision is still avoided okay but now let's apply braking distance divided by 2 for the case first case it's 5 times 5 25 okay okay for the first case it is 5 times 5 25 divided by 2 which is 12.5 meter okay plus this is plus so this for sure 27.5 is hitting the child because child is at a 20 meter distance okay in this case it is 3 times 3 divided by 2 okay 9 divided by 2 which is 4.5 in this case it is 13.5 collision is avoided and in this case 20 kilometer speed 2 times 2 divided by 2 is 2 which is 8 meter right so the first case a collision is unavoidable that should be our answer thank you for watching the video i hope this has helped uh, please leave your comment and also share this to others who are going through the German driving license preparation. Thank you so much.